Hey guys, welcome to Civil Engineer Sada. Myself, Abhishek Kamrul Shetar. So today we are going to model a column, uh, very in a very quick time. So most of you have asked for, for, uh, the modeling part, but I'm going to do it in a very quick part. So let's start. So let's select this. This is an isometric view. This is a space claim, and uh, just select the plan view, and then select rectangle. Now define rectangle from center so from center just drag this so i'll just keep the standard size of rectangle that column that 230 mm into let's take this as 3 uh 400 mm 30 into 400 mm so fine guys this is ready now now what i'm going to do initially just i'll take this 3d mode let me do the solid part of the column so now just coming back to the isometric view here just pull this select pull command and now pull this for a height of 3 meters so which is 3000 mm enter so fine guys our column body is ready now the reinforcing bars are to be placed so be very careful like, like this is the important part here uh, let me take this view now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select one face here and i'll select a plane so there's a plane created now what i'm going to do i take a cover of clear cover of 40 mm for the column according to the standard so let's take 40 i'll push this plane inside for 40 mm and then you can see this plane is pushed inside for 40 mm now what i'm going to do i'll just have a front view and i'll just select this plane and now i'm going to hit an escape that make sure nothing is selected now select a line command okay now you have to just select a line command and now select a offset curve now i'm going to take an offset for the reinforcing bars i'm going to draw eight number of reinforcing bars so let me take an offset of 40 mm and here also i'll take 40 mm this is due to the clear cover okay uh, now uh, what i'm going to do i'll take the above side also 40 mm offset okay fine now you can see and one more at the center one more at the center so 230 by 2 actually 230 by 2 uh, or else what i can do is i can directly you can uh, take the line command and uh, select a rectangle when you just bring it near there will be a triangle just select over it and just make sure you are uh, getting a rectangle here which is a center part okay fine i hope this is done so now what the extra thing here should be removed for that select trim away just trim away the extra part here which is not necessary as of now okay fine now just come back to the 3d mode again now what i am going to do i'm just going to select the face the column i'll just make it uh, transparent to see whatever is there inside the column select the three uh, lines i'm going to make them as a solid bars now they are lines now just go to prepare profiles in that profile select the circle solid circle once you click on that you will get an option of beam profile here you will able to see beam profile just click on this circle right click edit beam profile so just you can see that the bar is having 10 mm dia so uh, before that yeah it's a 10 mm dia so for that you need to go to the uh, selection okay just select this part select the groups here if you're not getting select the groups here and there go to the dim r dimension right click on that okay or you can edit just uh, you can edit here itself i want the bar to be 16 mm diameter so radius is uh, diameter by 2 so 16 by 2 is 8 mm just put input as a 8 mm so your radius is 8 which means diameter is 16 okay fine i hope you got this 
now you are able to see the bars here so if you are not able to see any bars just go here and display uh, ask ask it to show the solid beams whatever the lines you have created will be converted into a solid line okay i'll just uh, show you yeah that is asking me to save let me do that later so you can see this is done now i'll just uh, change the color of the bars so display color and uh, yeah so i hope you are able to see the three bars have been created now what i'm going to do now i'll uh, delete this uh, plane now once again i'll just go take a plane command now i'm going to move that by half half of uh, what you can say is uh, 230 half of 230 is half of 230 is uh, 115 so let me move this by 115 115 enter so now it's exactly at the center now again you just need to go to this front view just hit an escape select this uh, plane and then go to the uh, offset okay now you are able to see that you are having an offset here now again what i am going to do take an offset of 40 mm so similarly 40 here as well and now just take this 40 here okay uh, so just go for trim so you don't want these extra lines here so fine just again come back okay fine now what you have to do you have to select the lines here select those lines and just go prepare and again circle when you select that if it's having the same shape and uh, if the size is not changed then don't worry to change it i'm keeping a 16 mm diameter constant here according to your combination you can change okay now again what i'm going to do just select a plane just select a face here plane and now uh, better you can do it from the other end so that you need, you need not calculate all the things select here select the plane and uh, move it so you will move it by how much 40 mm so 40 and enter okay fine now just come back to this view now select this rectangle plane and now just say again you need an offset here so now again you have to place three bars so just have an offset 40 enter so again 40 enter and this is a 200 mm depth so i'll take exactly 200 enter and now just take an offset of 40 mm which is clear cover now select trim away and uh, just uh, select the unwanted parts here which are not needed actually so fine so everything is done now just come back to the 3d mode and now just select these lines select the lines carefully and just again go to pre prepare and then select the circle okay now just go for display and change the color to make it a uh, little bit more uh, convincing and uh, visible okay so fine now i'll just delete this uh, plane here now the main bars are ready okay you can see the column with main bars are ready and now i need to provide a stirrup so guys for stirrups what you need to do is just select the plane i'm going to provide 8 mm diameter 150 mm center to center stirrups okay so now just select what you are going to do now i'm just going to select a plane here again and now let me move this plane by how much let me move it by again 40 mm so just to have a let me move it by 40 mm okay so fine just select this plane again come back to the plan view okay now let me enlarge this view to make you understand clearly now again just you need to take a uh, offset here but before that what one thing you have to do here is you have to join the lines here appropriate lines you need to join the appropriate lines here because uh, that's very important here select all the lines from the ends
okay fine select from the select the lines why we are doing this is you'll understand because we need to take an offset for the line uh, so for that reason we are going to do this uh, now make sure the, uh, the ATM the, the ATM diameter of uh, radius you have to make it so take an offset of <coughs> so the uh, diameter of the bar should be 8 mm so the radius is 4 mm okay so the radius should be 4 mm here so if you take an offset of say 4 mm take an offset of 4 mm plus 8 mm 12 mm you have to take why you have to take 12 is because the bar should not touch over the main bars so half of the diameter of main steel that is uh, 16 by 2 8 mm plus half of the diameter of stirrups that is 8 by 2 4 so uh, you can say 8 plus 4 12 mm so 12 mm offset here so select 12 everywhere just have this 12 mm offset 12 and enter now let's have a bend here okay we have to provide a 90 degree bend so select the tangent arc now just select this and have a 90 degree covering here 12 mm okay fine now just select this bend uh, arc select this 90 degree so fine now here you have to select it this is 90 and now make sure you are selecting correctly 90 degree so you'll get a perfect uh, circle ring so now just select the reference lines just delete them which are not needed actually now okay fine so just come back to the 3d mode here so once you're done with this just come back to the 3d mode just hit an escape line uh, now you can just uh, delete this plane now you can see that you have created a line here okay so you have created a line so let me hide this uh, column for a moment so, so just select all the lines here which are just when i select them you will get a yellow color mark so just make sure you are selecting all the lines perfectly and now just go or prepare and now just uh, select a circle here okay just go back yeah when i select now everything is all the lines have been selected now we have to make this into a stirrups so just for that go to prepare and just select the profile and select a new circle why because if you select new circle then only it will take a different radius edit beam profile and now go to this uh, dimension here now change this dimension to 4 mm because 8 mm diameter bar should have 4, 4 mm of radius so just again uh, come back to the design part now you can see the diameter is done okay so you can see the diameter is done so just select that so just select that design a display will just change the color so this is the color okay so uh, in between that you can delete the surface that's not needed actually the surface has helped us to create a stirrup okay now i'll just ask it to show show everything so everything is being showed now what i'm going to do is just go to just go and select this stirrup two times you click it and then go and select the offset command okay linear pattern once you do that you don't know how many numbers are needed so better you just uh, give a spacing the spacing should be 150 mm and the count the count will it will depend let us say suppose we are having 10 counts now we have to specify the dimension you have to specify the direction in which the stirrups are to be placed so now the stirrups are placed above 
so you are having one more red arrow just uh, make sure you are selecting down so just go for some 20 here and check whether it is satisfied here yeah so this is done and then select ok so once you do that you can see all the stirrups have been turned into the main thing so this is how we can prepare our column and while plan view you can see the shape is everything the shape and everything is perfectly matched so many people ask me uh, just uh, to explain so you can see this is a plan view so everything it is perfectly arranged and there is no error in the model so you can see the modeling has taken very less time and how accurately we are able to do it so if you want you can change this color just for a representation part of so i hope you are able to see this so i thank you guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe my channel and support me and support me so that i can make a lot of videos on answers and i'll be usually clearing the doubts of many students who are just uh, contacting me through mail and uh, there's a lot of project assistance i have given so if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section or you can mail me which i'm going to provide in the description box so have a good day